Thank you everyone for coming this afternoon to the press conference. My name is Josh Klug, Deputy Chief of the Wausau Fire Department. Uh, this afternoon uh, we will be handling the press conference uh, with a statement uh, prepared for both the Wausau Fire Department and Wausau Police Department. From the Wausau Fire Department, we have with us Fire Chief Tracy Kajawa and representing the Police Department, Deputy Chief Ben Blivin. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Fire Chief Tracy Kajala. Thank you, Judge. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a deep regret that we have needed to call for a press conference today to address allegations of sexual assault against a member of our department. We as a department are very humbled today there's no department or organization that believes that this type of accusation would ever be brought against one of their members. We come to work every day with the intention and the commitment of providing professional emergency services to our community and to live out our core values day in and day out, whether on duty or off duty. Although we hold our members to a high standard and believe that this will not occur, we do have procedures in place to address any allegation such as this and to hold our members accountable for their actions. We have worked closely with the Wausau Police Department since this claim surfaced and will continue in that effort in order to ensure justice for the victim and safety for our community. We appreciate the strength and courage it took for this individual to come forward and it is our duty to press forward to determine the truth of this situation. We have taken the opportunity to meet with our department members both last night and this morning. And as you might imagine, there are a wide range of emotions which have surfaced. We realize that we have violated the trust of our community, but are going to work diligently to regain and repair that trust. Please recognize that the actions of one should not extend to all. There's no question that this will be a difficult, strenuous time and is a low point of our organization. But I know that our organization is made of committed professionals and we will take this as an opportunity to become united in our mission of providing emergency services to our community. Thank you. Next I'd introduce Deputy Chief Ben Blivin and uh, following that will be Mayor Milkey and questions will be addressed at the conclusion. Good afternoon. Um, first, I'd like to just talk uh, for a moment about sexual assault and sexual assault awareness. Um, we, we know that sexual assault is a vastly underreported crime, um, and, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, you know, primarily it's, it's a very intimate crime. Uh, victims don't want to report because they don't want to have to relive the incident. Uh, they don't report uh, because they may have to testify in a criminal proceeding. Uh, they have to retell the story numerous times to numerous people. They're concerned maybe they won't be believed. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons that sexual assault is, is underreported. So I, I just want to acknowledge in this case uh, the victim here and, uh, and the courage and strength that it took for her to come forward and make this report to law enforcement. Uh, I think that's really a uh, an important thing to note in this case and, I, and I'm grateful to her uh, that she had the courage to report this incident so that uh, we can investigate and that we can hold this perpetrator accountable uh, for his actions um, and, and, the, and like Chief Kajawa said um, many are angry frustrated as a result of, of this incident and these and these accusations and uh, I can tell you that uh, we at the police department and I know those uh, those folks that work at the fire department have those same feelings uh, feel uh, you know that uh, disappointed in, in what occurred here and, and we're angry about it so I just want to talk a little bit about the incident that occurred and what was reported to us 
Uh, the victim made a report of a sexual assault uh, in the back of an ambulance uh, as she was being transported up to the hospital. Uh, you know, we have in law enforcement uh, procedures, protocols that we follow in every investigation for sexual assault. Uh, we certainly follow those procedures here. We uh, we took every uh, every measure we could to make sure that we uh, we got to the truth, and and that's our that's our charge as law enforcement is to find the truth of the matter, no matter who the victim is and no matter who the perpetrator is. Um, so of course we we often always interview witnesses as a, in in these types of cases. We interview the suspects. Uh, we interview anybody that might have information in relation to this case. Um, Part of a sexual assault investigation is we do uh, what's called a SING kit, uh, a sexual assault nurse examiner. Uh, is a certified nurse who is specially trained to investigate and collect physical evidence in a sexual assault case. Um, so we had uh, contact with a, a SING nurse uh, who collected evidence uh, in this case and that evidence was then submitted to the Wisconsin State Crime, Crime Lab and uh, we received, uh, we received confirmation from the Wisconsin State Crime Lab that, uh, uh, that the offender, the suspect in this case, who is Clifford J. Heiser, uh, had his DNA on her. And uh, that was confirmed by the Wisconsin State uh, Crime Lab. So uh, as a result of that, we have made a, a custodial arrest of uh, Clifford J. Heiser and uh, took him to the Marathon County Jail. He was, uh, at his initial appearance earlier this afternoon, on charges of third degree sexual assault fourth degree sexual assault and misconduct in office. Um, and this, this next statement uh, I'm going to make, I just want to qualify it with, um, you know, I, I'm not saying this to be crude, I just think it's important for our community to understand what did not happen in the back of the ambulance and, and uh, so that's, that's why I'm going forward with uh, this comment. Uh, the third degree sexual assault charge is defined in statute as sexual contact or sexual intercourse without consent. So there's a, a variety of, of actions, of things that can lead to that charge. Um, and I just want to make our community aware, uh, just to quell the rumor mill and gossip, that um, there, was no, there was no contact with the victim uh, with the suspect's penis. And I just want to say again that uh, I'm really grateful that this victim came forward. It, it allowed us the opportunity and the fire department the opportunity to hold this person accountable and to bring them to justice so that uh, this does not happen in the future. Um, and, and it's important to us that, uh, that we acknowledge those sexual assault victims and victims of all crime so that we can hopefully uh, make them feel comfortable in coming forward and reporting to law enforcement these types of cases in the future. Um, and I, I also want to say that uh, along with the fire department, the police department here in Wausau, we are committed to this community. Uh, we have a lot of good men and women at work uh, within the police department, within the fire department, and uh, it's, it's a difficult time for, for the folks at the fire department. Uh, they feel betrayed, as our community probably does, um, but uh, I know uh, personally many of the firefighters, paramedics that work there, and they're good individuals who are here to help this community. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to uh, Mayor Milky for some comments. Good afternoon, everybody. In that era of being open and transparent, this is the reason why we're here today to get the information out right away as to what we have learned and what we have discovered. First of all, to that victim, I appreciate your honesty and your candor in coming forward. Nobody is above the law, and that includes city officials or city employees. On that matter, though, I also want to reiterate, we have a wonderful staff at Wausau Fire Department. They are top-notch. They are very dedicated, very professional, and very service oriented They too are hurting by this violation of public trust. I can assure you that this will be dealt with in the correct, proper, and legal manner as it has been. I want to acknowledge and say thank you to the Wasa Police Department for the thorough job that they've done, and also to Chief Kajal and the rest of the fire department in coming forward as quick as I did, quickly as they did, to make sure that this matter is handled correctly, properly, and legally. This is an unfortunate incident and one that should not have happened. But just the same, we wanted to get it out there in an open and transparent way so that folks know right away as far as what is happening. Thank you. At this time, I guess we'll take some questions. Do you know if they knew each other or if they were strangers? Uh, 
there we have no knowledge that they've had prior contact. If you say how long this person was employed at the fire department, four years. Yeah, four years is my understanding. Is it common practice to only have one person in the back of the ambulance with the person being transported? Yes, we run with two paramedics on an ambulance, and uh, the uh, one paramedic uh, actually drives the vehicle, obviously, and then one uh, cares for the patient in the back of the ambulance. Is that something that's being reevaluated at this time? We are looking at different technological types of, um, you know, technology and things like that to maybe advance uh, um, advance us towards a more positive way of being able to protect not only our community but also our, our department members. Are you considering any other policy changes as a result of this, anything in hiring practices or, or otherwise? Frankly, it's just a little too early to tell, but yes, we will be yeah, I think everything uh, needs to be reviewed um, in light of uh, the situation, obviously, um, and um, hiring practices wouldn't be out of the realm of thinking. Somebody else have their hand up the um, Has this individual ever had any other allegations similar to this or other disciplinary action with the fire department? Um, I I'm, I'm not aware of any uh, prior disciplinary action in the course of this employment. Also, is this the first time that an allegation like this has surfaced in the department? I can't remember one. You know, I've only been the chief of this department for about three and a half years, but um, nothing uh, since I've been uh, chief of the Wausau Fire Department. And, and nothing that I can recall in my, in my time here at, at the police department either. You mentioned some um, potential solutions in your in your news release or to have you pinpointed a, a few things that you might be looking at um, to solve this for, for future issues that might come forward or is it I mean is it just too early for that I, I think it's just a tad too early we just got this the results on this late yesterday evening um, but yes everything is going to be under review very spoken with our HR department, our city attorney, to make sure all policy are adhered to that are in place right now and possible future changes that's further down the road now. Yeah, and I, and I think, uh, you know, as we mentioned before, policies and procedures will be closely, closely scrutinized. Hiring practices will also be looked at very closely, but um, for the protection of obviously our future patients and uh, obviously, the department members, I, I think that what we're looking at is basically putting cameras in the back of the ambulances. That's not unheard of. Um, so uh, I think that we, what we have to do is uh, look at what best would fit our department and uh, how we would go about doing that. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Can you tell us at all um, what the welfare check was for, or what the call was on? Yeah. Um, I guess at this point, I, I don't want to get into exactly what the call uh, initially was about. Um, I, I don't think that's especially relevant to exactly why we're here today. So um, that's uh, that's in the, the record of our reports and, and that kind of thing with the district attorney, but I, I don't think that's appropriate to comment on right now. Can you talk about the background checks that potential firefighter EMTs go through when they're hired by the department? <coughs> Yeah, our current practice right now is obviously our background check is actually vetted through our HR, Human Resources Department. So uh, we have a, a lengthy contingency of different things that uh, that individual has to move through, but when it comes to the background check, our HR department fields that and actually looks at um, uh, you know all different aspects of the background, interviews, references, interviews other people that have, cont have had contact with that individual, and does a very thorough background check. Yeah, looks at criminal history, um, all of that. 